when you look at those commercials, you know, they just wow, go like this around and then they scan everything and it's perfect. In reality, it's much more complicated than that. My biggest problem is that sometimes scanner catches up and makes double things. So like double front wheel or double inlet outlet hoses in this scan. This happened so many times that was driving me crazy. But while it's difficult to make scans, it's actually possible and I just made yesterday a copy of my impeller pump so this unit instead of trying to just measure every dimension you can actually scan the thing and then get those dimensions in fusion 360 or any other application and it, it makes it so much faster and easier to design a 3d model All right so i got my first super rough prototype so initial scan took me longer than I expected, but I had to get used to the settings and the environment in which to scan and so on. But now I have a prototype and when the dimensions fit, I can order one made out of steel. So while I think 3D scanners have a long way to go to make the scans fast and easy still, but they are becoming quite useful tools in everyone's workshop or a room, as in my case, in everyone's who is doing any 3D modeling design reproduction of parts and 3D printing. I found it easiest to scan things for direct 3D printing. So like this Waze model took me only, I don't know, half an hour probably with all the processing. And I had a pretty accurate 3D model that you can just 3D print without bigger issues. Well, you actually will have issues because the hairline is a massive overhang, but you can print it upside down and so on. Nevertheless, if I would have to design this myself in Fusion 360, it would take me forever and probably I wouldn't even be able to do that because I don't know anything about sculpting and 3D scanner enables me to scan and get an accurate model easily. But as you can see it's not just directly scan and print in most of the cases, well <laughs> maybe it's possible but I found it super hard because sometimes your scans just fail. This is a cylinder head of my sailboat's engine and let's go through the process of scanning it so you can understand what to expect from the process, how it works and how much post-processing you need to do. So first things first, I have this huge LED ring light, I have this side light right here and I have one light behind the camera. So I have enough lighting on the part, probably it would be best to scan from this side because I see there is more light coming than here, you can see there is a shadow. And then I have my uh, scanner connected to my PC. It's pretty juicy PC with good stats, so it has enough processing power. And it's also positioned on turntable, which I can control by this remote. I found out that the best results from scanning I get when I actually start scanning first from the sides. I'm gonna go to the application and press scan. Now there are these, all these settings here, so we will say it's a normal object of small size and we will scan for texture, it's just the best thing that worked for me. I couldn't manage to get good scans by scanning geometry. We will do it in high quality, in color and we using the turntable. So the parts that you scan become green and when they are green then you know, yeah, it's scanned. So we're gonna move it a bit up and down to capture it from all the possible sides. You can see it's turning green, but still there are some details that are in brown, which means that there is more work to be done. You see that dark green area? So these are the points that the scanner already recognizes and Hold itself, holds itself against them. The more of those you have, the better, or the less chances that it will lose track and do something really crazy, which sometimes it does. All right, so now it looks rather all green to me. All right, I think that's good. Let's press the complete button. The scanning itself took only seven minutes, but now we have to do all the processing. So you have to optimize, you have to do the mesh and you have to add colors. So now we've finished optimizing and as you can see we also have 
the surface scan of the turntable which we will have to manually remove for now and we can see that one screw head is unfortunately missing we manually remove the unneeded parts in about six minutes i was not worried too much about the quality of these cuts and we could do meshing that took another two minutes I couldn't be happier about the result, it captured a lot of detail in quite a short time, so now we can do the color mapping and have one side of the part finished. And while I was happy with the result, I decided to redo it without the screws and to use the geometry mode instead. This time I managed to scan properly the top of the cylinder head with the geometry and I will use another function which is right here which is point cloud merging so if i flip the cylinder head around and do the same scanning and then i use this function the application will merge the two parts and we can have the parts scanned from both sides let's do that you can actually see we have a hole going through because on the other side we have the entire bottom and this just makes me smile because i would take yeah again forever to design it in fusion or any other application so while this is not perfect you can see this part needs removing and some parts you know in the holes needs cleaning up actually when you do the scanning you can <clears throat> so if we when you do the scanning i'll just choose random settings on the left bottom side right here you I learned that you should adjust the lighting so when you're scanning for darker parts you actually need to add exposure and if you're scanning for over bright parts you, you need to lower the exposure so don't use it on auto if you want to scan like the holes you saw you will have to adjust the exposure manually and then don't have these problems but just in one hour time if you can have the scan that looks like this it's insane and you can load those scans later in this application so i'm super happy with this part which later i used in fusion 360 to design a new gasket and also to make a 3d model and the factory recommends that this scanner is for smallest things of 15 by 15 by 15 centimeters this part is a little bit smaller than 15 by 15 by 15 and i managed to scan it really successfully i will try scanning smaller parts i also tried scanning the electrical scooter i spent two days working on it and I was not happy with the result so even though manufacturer says it can be scanned for two meters by two meters by two meters I didn't have good success yet I will continue working on that today you can buy Creality CR Scan Ferret Pro on Geek Buying for 379 euros and today is the last day of 2023 I don't know if the price will last Anyways, for this price, it's a really good helper if you're doing any CAD design, at least to get the measurements, to get connection points, to make your drawings. It's really a really valuable resource in a one or a couple hours you can get your model into the computer in the 3D shape. I hope that they will keep updating the firmware because I think I still think there is where to improve. As I mentioned, sometimes I got double parts scanned losing the track while well, losing the tracking and so on. And I would like to get that fixed. That's the end result I got yesterday. And today I wanted to continue to adding this part because I think it's scanned pretty well. It's not meshed. So if I mesh it, it will be looking really nice. Right, so now what I think I want to do, all this mess, I can't figure it out. So I'm just going to do this and remove. And right here, I'm going to remove this part because I'm afraid it will add it. <laughs> right, and now I'm going to press the merging button and let's just try automatic you see so now it didn't so it, it doesn't care if i cut off that part it, it adds it back with all the things that i have removed already so like i remove this thing and i don't know what to do now do i have to save it now is it is exporting same as saving 
but that doesn't save it as as the project file what if I do color mapping now will it keep it like this I don't know how to save now it in this state so it doesn't add back what was on top when I want to merge the projects oh that's how it ended now <clears throat> So I got this white screen despite having a really fast PC and so on and after two days of trying to scan and combine that scooter from pieces that really demotivated me. I will do a follow-up video when I do more scans with it but I hope that you found it useful now and I hope it helps you to manage expectations what you should expect from a Creality Seer Scan Ferret Pro 3D scanner today.